Hello guys, welcome back to the Tritime Podcast. I'm Callum and today I'm going to be rebuilding the Toronto Wolfpack squad. So as you can see on screen is a current Toronto Wolfpack team. So this is with Naguati in and Wheeler out. With obviously that like G going, who they've got on trial. So disclaimer. For the sake of this video, no players are injured. So obviously Sonny Bill's got a knock in real life. This is all discounted. Due to not knowing exact wages of players, salaries were assumed for the video. So no salaries are included on here, but we know it roughly. All transfer scenarios are assuming that players would agree to move club. And all transfers are believed to benefit Toronto and all the other team that's involved in the trade slash transfer. So as you can see, the Toronto guys at the minute with all this coronavirus, counting the money, Wilkin, Thompson, Sonny Bill and Lutelli, the rich men. So my scenario is... I'm taking over as of today, so obviously with six losses, no wins. Amy to keep Toronto in Super League, tough task, but I think it's possible. Due to cap constraints, play movement is definitely needed within the team. So, first of all, we're going to be working with Warrington. So, we're going to be sending Ricky Lutelli over to Warrington. So, I think, obviously he's a big cap player. I think Warrington can afford him within their cap. And he, I think he pushes Warrington to the next level. And I think he's almost, he's really good for Toronto. But I think they can live, they can survive without him. And they, they need his wages to use for other cap, 100%. But obviously involved in this, it goes both ways. So I am wanting from Warrington, Lewis Johnson, good young player. Rarely, really got enough chances. But I think we deserve to give him a chance. Anthony Gellin speaks for himself. Obviously, beside the whole drama with him, I think he'd be a great signing for the Wolfpack. Cheaper option towards us, uh, rather than Lutelli. So, Matt Davis as well. Utility forward. Came from London. London's player of the year, the year before last. Signed for Warrington. Played well from when he's played, but not being given a chance. I really think we can utilise him within this Toronto team in a multitude of positions. Really good depth player to have. And he's been like that for Warrington, really. So next, we're going to be working with the Huddersfield Giants. So, Huddersfield got quite a big squad, a good young squad. We're sending over Josh McCrone. Huddersfield really lack that backup halfback that I think has got the experience and that can play hooker as well. With O'Brien, they've got no one sort of to step in if he got injured, really. Uh, apart from, obviously, like the under looking to the under-19 team. So I think Josh McCrone can be that option for him. I think he's a really good player. He's on probably a bit too much money for Toronto at the minute. Giants could have fallen for me. We're going to take two players from Huddersfield, if that's all right with them. We're going to take Tom Holmes, good young player. Not really that he's good enough cracking Super League, but I think he can be good as sort of a good rotation player for us. And Adam Warner, who's just struggled to really kick on at Huddersfield, whether that's injuries or just not being able to get selected. Um, obviously played really good for Salford a good few years ago. Hopefully he can add some good depth in the prop position for us. Good big forward, Super League experience. And also touch on Holmes, the fact he can play hooker for us as well is a big thing and definitely can provide good competition so next we're going to be going down to the championship and working with the london broncos now i think obviously going down to the championship we've got to send some money down to them because we're going to be taking some of their best players and giving some of ours that we don't want so we're going to give some cash i don't have an exact cash amount but we're just going to give them a bit of cash with sidlow but i think he's probably championship quality sadly Super League quality back in his day, but just not right there for now. And Chase Stanley, who thinks on a lot of money at Toronto. I think London could afford him, especially if we sent some money down there. He'd definitely fit in their car. And he, honestly, London want to push for Super League. I think he's a great player to have in that centre experienced head. He's, he'd do the job for him. We are going to take for them Eddie Batty, who I think his Super League quality would walk into the majority of Super League teams. Great prop forward. One of the best. Why not have him? Then we're going to take also Tui Godo. Great player, winger, centre, utility back. Really good at cast when he when he got played. Good backup, and I think he can be that for us and also provide competition. Realistically, I think London would agree to this trade as obviously Chase Stanley would help their push and the cast would just help the club in general. I think Egodo Bate would really add something to Toronto in general. So now we're going to be working with the Vancouver Dragons. No, half of you watching, I'm not going to have a clue who they are. Amateur, they're an amateur side in, in Canada, obviously, and I've taken two Canadian inter, internationals. Skylar Dumas and Andrew Porter. So, they're both prominently featured for the Canadian national team. Dumas is a hooker. He had a stint in Queensland in a lower semi-pro format. He's now at the Vancouver Dragons and prominently, prominently plays in Canadian origin type games such as East versus West. Porter is a loose forward slash second row. He's a, stayed local, been at Dragons for a few years. Also probably plays in the East versus West test matches. 
And um, honestly, I've looked up this guy and honestly, he's so renowned as a big hitter, knows his stuff, big loose forward, 80 minute type player. And I think he honestly, in a couple of games, could surprise some players in Super League. I think bringing these two over, obviously, they don't count on the cap as being Canadian, but I think it just adds so much sort of depth to the team that they can bring them through and also maybe start like the rebellion with the uh, Canadian players coming over to Toronto and being implemented into Super League. Next, we're going to be working with the Lee Centurions. They're not sending anyone to us. We're sending a player down to them, just sort of a player it's a plus two requirements for me for Toronto. He's been a great servant for them for the whole time that they've been in existence. Andrew Dixon, back down to Lee. I think he'll really help them push up Super League because I think that's his level, his higher championship. He's helped Toronto at that level for many years. I think now he just struggled to get into the team and make a big impact in Super League. Due to his age, but in his day, great player, great servant to Toronto. Honestly, I think he could really help Lee push on for Super League, which is what they're wanting. Next, we're going to be working with Wigan Warriors. So, I, they are giving us Joe Bullock, hopefully. Obviously, maybe cash, some cash considerations the other way, but maybe not. You just don't know. Joe Bullock, great player. Obviously, signed for Wigan from Barrow. Played a lot last year. Not really got his chance too much this year, but I think we're going to focus in a lot on their young sort of props, like Smithies, Partington coming through. So, I think they probably would give us, a, give us him. They've got a lot of depth in that position, and I think he really would help add depth to our team and our squad so that is if that would form a full 29 man toronto squad i am keeping mcdermott as manager obviously radford were an option to go for him but i think keeping that sort of like i don't chemistry in the squad you don't want to mix it up too much and i think mcdermott got him promoted i think he can keep him up maybe long term you would look away from mcdermott potentially for someone like radford but that's all different scenario so this is how i would line up as the best team so I think I'd keep Diego at fullback, experienced Super League player. Really, he's been really good for Toronto since he's come over. Matty Russell left wing again, experienced Super League player. Tough to take him off of that wing. Maloudi's really surprised a lot of people, including me in centre. Really good player, deserves a spot. Anthony Gellin, the first new signing to start. He's got, I think he's just got to be there. Same with Liam Kay, great Toronto, sort of played the whole thing here. Great player. Joe Mellor, I think halfbacks was really tough, but I think Mellor was the one I had to have at six. Wallace, I mean, as, as you can see, when you go to that, the reserves and subs, a lot of options, but I think I just had to go with him. Lussick as a, as a first starting prop, NRL experience, it speaks to itself. Struggled to really get a really top quality Super League hooker, so I, but I think Akers can become that, so I'm keeping Akers in there. Singleton at prop, it speaks to himself, his Super League experience. Sonny Bill, the money he's on and how good of a player he is on his day, he has to be second row. Then the other second row, Bodine Thompson. Again, NRL quality, same as um, Sonny Bill. Good player. John Wilkin at loose. Super League, absolute legend. Still got it in his legs for me. Good experienced players. Subs, Eddie Batty. One of the best props, like I've said, is on there. So is Joe Bullock. Them two new props I've signed are both going to be his props off the bench. Albison, second row, loose prop. He can play it all. Experience in Super League, great player. Good to have on the bench. Matt Davis, I've decided to go away. This was tough. This is as a replacement hooker slash back row can play it all. Then we've got Holmes, Adam Wallen, Anthony Mullally, Gareth O'Brien, James Cunningham, Gadwin Springer, Turi Godo, Lewis Johnson, Qui not Quinn Gatti, Greg Worthington, then Quinn Negrate, then Skylar Dumas, then Andrew Porter. That is how I would sort of line it up in order of who I'd play and pick out first with the Canadian boys towards the end because obviously lack of experience. But I think honestly, you could probably put a couple of them in and bleed them in in games. I think you need to build a culture around this big squad. 29-man squad, you could really make it work. You know, Worthington's been on loan down at Fev. You could have him down there if you wanted to because obviously there's some sort of players like maybe I'll have a good or above him in as a centre replacement. So you could do that. You could... Even really loan, you know, Andrew Porter, Skyler Dumas down to League One, championship level. A lot of teams would probably take a punt on them guys on loan. But then you've always got that recall clause in there that you could take them back. But I think this, really, this structure and I think the players we've let go are players that maybe was good rotation players, but maybe not quite the Super League level. I think I've replaced them with good Super League rotation. And I honestly think that this team could push probably, which it's looking like Hulk out at the bottom of Super League. They could really push them to the top above them so especially i think you got to look at players like albison who i think are really underrated super league players so much experience same with like a single with like singleton i think wilkins still got it as well a lot of people are saying wilkin hasn't got the legs for me he's probably 
one of the most underrated players in terms of he's up there with like the O'Loughlin in terms of people think his, his career's over. I don't think it is. I think he's really brought a lot to Toronto in the last two years. I mean, contentious call realistically Maloudi at centre people will say. Is it one of them plays where he could win you a game, lose you a game? But I think he's sort of showed the passion and determination to be that starting centre. A Godo potentially could come in and be there. You know, you could probably have somehow work Gigo into the centre as an have O'Brien at fullback. I think O'Brien's unlucky to miss out. But I think that just shows the sort of strength in depth I've brought to this team. Especially Tom Holmes as well. I think he's a great signing for us. Is him and Wallace, you know, I think Wallace adds that bit more unpredictability. Holmes probably more organisational. But I think as a six, Mello is a good organisational six anyway. So I think you could mix and match that up and sort of work it however you felt. So that's been Callum rebuilding the Toronto team. Matt is going. To, Matt has got his scenario. So check that up in the top right card up here, um, where he is going from the start of next season as if Toronto got relegated. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you all there.